The S95D is meant to replace the S95C, but the latter will remain available until existing stock sells out. Both TVs have similar capabilities, but the S95D can get a bit brighter and it has a new matte screen that significantly reduces glare and reflections. However, the older S95C costs much less and its glossy screen has some unique perks that videophiles might prefer. In this video, I will compare these two TVs side by side to avoid any confusion. So, watch till the end. Before we continue the in-depth analysis, I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any updates. Starting with their picture performance. The S95D and S95C both use QD OLED. It is also known as OLED with quantum dot panels, which enables them to produce pixel level contrast control and a wide range of bright colors. They also offer excellent viewing angles so you can sit off to the side of the screen without noticing any drop in image quality. When watching actual movies and TV shows, both displays provide impressive high dynamic range performance. But while both TVs are neck and neck in most picture quality aspects, there is one area where the S95D has a more notable edge over the S95C is its peak brightness level. In fact, the S95D is one of the brightest OLED TV in 2024. The S95D can only hit 1700 nits briefly before dimming significantly. But since most highlights that need to get that bright, which is like an explosion in a movie only appear on screen for quick flashes, this limitation isn't that big of a deal. Ultimately, the S95D's increased brightness gives it a slight advantage over the S95C for two reasons. One, it gives you more headroom to adjust the S95D's settings and pump up the screen's brightness to help combat issues with glare in rooms that let in a lot of light. And two, it enables the S95D to more accurately cover the full range of brightness that filmmakers intend when mastering HDR content that exceeds 1000 nits. This means that extreme highlights can come through with a bit more detail and visual intensity on the S95D than they would on the S95C. Even more so than their brightness capabilities, the biggest difference between the S95D and S95C is how each TV handles reflections. The S95C uses a glossy screen, while the S95D uses a matte screen. Both have their pros and cons, but the S95D's matte coating offers a big improvement in reducing glare and reflections. Glossy screens, which are used in nearly every TV nowadays, which can cause noticeable reflections in certain rooms. To combat this, manufacturers use different kinds of anti-reflective filters. The S95C's anti-reflective filter does a solid job for a screen of its type, but depending on where your windows and indoor lights are positioned, you could still run into issues with glare. On the other hand, the S95D's matte screen virtually eliminates reflections and glare entirely. If you struggle with reflections in your room, the S95D is a game changer. The only other 4K sets with similar matte screen coatings are Samsung's own frame TV and Hisense's upcoming canvas TV. But those models can't match the pixel level contrast that the S95D's OLED panel produces. Unfortunately, the S95D's matte screen has one notable side effect. It hurts black level performance in a bright room. Though reflections and glare are dramatically reduced, black levels lose a bit of that deep, inky quality that OLEDs are known for and instead look slightly grey and hazy. Outside their screen coatings, the S95D and S95C have nearly identical physical designs. Both TVs have a thin profile that measures around 0.4 inches thick and use a separate OneConnect box to house all of their video and audio inputs instead of having those ports built into the panel. The switch to ATSC 1.0 is disappointing, but it's not as big a deal as it might sound. Actual 4K broadcasts are rare, and most people buying a high-end set like this rely on cable boxes or streaming services for live TV rather than digital antennas. Likewise, you can purchase a separate ATSC 3.0 tuner if needed. The One Connect box can be slotted right onto the back of the TV stand to hide it from view. 
The metal stand itself is also very similar for both TVs with a sturdy pedestal design. Samsung's smart TV interface, which uses the Tizen operating system, has been slightly updated for the S95D than the S95C. The S95D's layout has been tweaked and streamlined, and there's a new loading graphic when you open an app, but general functionality and features remain the same. The 2024's S95D is meant to replace the 2023's S95C, but the S95C will remain available to purchase for as long as the existing inventory lasts. Though exact street prices fluctuate, the S95C is often on sale for as much as $1,200 less than the S95D. Both models are available in 55, 65 and 77 inch screen sizes, and here's how pricing compares for each option. The S95D's price should gradually fall as the year goes on, and I expect to see big discounts during events like Amazon Prime Day and Black Friday. By the time the holiday shopping season rolls around, prices for current and previous year TV models usually even out. It's important to remember that the S95C will get harder to find in the fall and winter as stock depletes. The S95D and S95C are both impressive OLEDs, but the cheaper S95C remains a better value for most buyers in the market for a flagship Samsung TV. The Pricer S95D technically offers better image quality with brighter HDR performance. But for typical use cases, I don't think it's worth the premium, while you can still find the S95C for less money. However, buyers specifically looking for a glare-free TV should consider paying extra for the S95D. It's the only high-end TV that can combat reflections this well. I generally prefer the superior black level performance you get with the S95C's glossy screen, but the S95D's matte screen is uniquely suited for rooms where glare is a persistent issue. If you have any other opinions, then share them in the comments. Also, if you found this video helpful, then hit that like and subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.